back to another end scenic build guide. This time it's for the cooling tower I've produced. This was one awkward shape to design. But I've designed it in such a way that it is simple to construct, just takes a lot of perseverance. There's a lot of parts to go together here. Uh, so, as always, model comes in the card, ready for you to just nip out, cut out. So, that is going to be my next step. I'm going to cut all the parts out, all the sheets, and then we'll get on to building the model. If you're curious to know how big the model is, the model is 240 millimeters tall by 140 millimeters wide at the base. The weathering you can see on this one, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration at the end. Obviously the card doesn't come weathered, it's just just plain as you can see. But I'll show you just how I have some of the, done the effects on at the end of the video on the model we complete during the process. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start with the gray card to begin with, the main structure to the tower. And it's got tabs all the way around, which is just holding the parts into the card, so using a knife or a sharp blade, I'm just going to nip all these through, and I'll fast forward through this bit because there's a lot to do, and I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me cut all these pieces out. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to take one of the pieces and just where this line runs down, you'll see that these tabs are all sliced individually. So we're just going to form a bit of a bend in these just to help us start off. So we're going to start all the way down. And this very top tab, you can see here, I'm just going to completely flatten that over. And we'll do that with every single piece we use. Okay, so that's the first piece ready to go. And I'm going to start in the centre. So, with a bit of glue on the end of a paintbrush, I'm going to roughly pick a centre one, and right up to this line, you can see here, I'm going to glue right up to that line. Don't go past it, because you'll get all glue onto your face of your model. So if I do it this way, I'm going to start in the middle, and apply glue to about five of these, so do two up from that first one and two down from that first one. Okay, so I'm next going to bring in another piece and just line this up with that etched line on your model. Like so. So I've got this line now nice and matched, uh, matched here. As you can see, the model's going over the line here and over the line here. So that's where we need to handle the model now. So once that glue's set a bit for us, it's not going to pull apart now. I'm just going to curl back the model and apply glue down the rest of these tabs. Again, just going up to the edge of the mark. Try your best not to go over that, and you'll end up with a messy front. Okay, so let's go on that now. So I'm just going to pull these out slightly. That will start to form the shape we want. And if you just Line the edge of this, the, this piece up with that line we've got etched into the design. As long as we keep them lines all equal all the way all the time, we won't have any problems with construction of the model. So I'm just going to run up and down and just squashing them tabs onto the back here so they get glued. And then once that starts to set, 
we can do the bottom bit. So again with this top tab, I'm just going to fold this over so it matches that one. I'm going to spin the model around and then I'm now going to run glue down the bottom half. You're going to try your best not to go over the, the edge line with your glue. Try and keep this front face nice and clean. Okay, so I've got plenty of glue on there. Again, I'm just going to pull these apart and give it a, sl a slight curve up. As you can see there, so I'm slightly curving it up. That'll help it form the shape better. And then as long as we might line up all this, this outer edge with that line we've got on the model, we won't have any issues. So, again, once we're happy, just squeeze them tabs onto the back. Okay, so that's held there now, and then the last piece we want to do is the, this little tab here. So again, I'm just going to run a bit of glue just up to that line that's on there. I'm going to bring this one in front, bring them together so this edge meets that line, and just hold them into place until it dries. Okay, so that's dry, and we've got the basic shape now to the side of the cooling tower. So it will begin to look like that, so that you can see the curve in it. So again, it, now it's the case of just repeating the process for all the parts we've got. It's a long, it's a bit tedious this bit. There's 16 pipe pieces in total to glue, but just take your time. When gluing them, try and not get any glue on the outside edge. Make sure if there's any excess, it's going to be on the back because you get, I can't really see that once the middle's built. So I'm going to do the, the next part along now. So again, I'll just bend these tabs over. I'm going to start roughly in the middle. I'm going to glue about five tabs again. So one in the middle, going right up to that line here. So one in the middle. I'll do two up from that, and then I'll do two down from that. So that's our five. I'm going to take another section, just line them up. And once we're happy that they all line up, just push them tabs on the back and just hold it until it starts to set. Okay, we start to set there, so I'm just going to fold this back a bit, hold it up with my finger, and then taking some glue, I'm going to put some glue on all these tabs on the inside. Okay, so they've all got glue on, all these tabs underneath, and I've got glue on. I'm just going to take the part again, just pull it apart slightly till it edges matched where that edge line is and then once we're happy just push all them tabs onto the back and you run your finger up and down a bit if you want just to ensure they're all fully secure and once that starts to grab you can move on to the bottom end again so just remember to fold this tab over at the top I'm going to spin them all around same again so I'm going to split it I'm going to apply some glue to these tabs on the inside. I'm going to just pull it apart slightly until that edges meet that edge line. Them tabs to secure them into place. 
So even with the PVA glue is set within a couple of seconds, although you've still got that freedom to slide it about if needs be. Okay, so that's started to set. So see him again with that bottom tab. Just gonna apply a bit of glue to that support there where the edge line is. And then I'm just gonna push this one down and then bring them together until they meet at that edge line and just hold them to place with that glue set. Okay, so that started to set. So same again. I'll do this. I'll do five strips of these, and then I'll fast forward the rest. It's just repeating the process until all these are glued onto the model or connected. So start in the middle. Line up them lines. Let that set a bit. Okay, should be good, so I'm going to split that again. Oh, I didn't fold these over, did I? I'm just going to split these again and run some glue down them tabs. Okay, so I'll just pull them apart, get them edges to meet with that edge line. And then push them tabs on at the back. And just hold it till it sets. I'm going to push that tab over at the top. Okay, flip them all around. Some glue on the inside again. Okay. And just that tab at the bottom. Push this down. Bring them together. And just hold them, let them glue. Okay. Fold these over slightly. Start in the middle again.
I'm just going to bend this up. Find them tabs. Okay, pull it apart slightly, lined up them lines again, and just when you're happy, push them tabs onto the back, just allow that to dry. And flip it around. We get these last couple of tabs. Just this last one, a little tab there, throw some glue on that again. And I'll just fold this down slightly and then bring them together so you meet that etched line and just hold it into place. Okay, so we're now up to this part of the stage. I've just got two more to glue on, so I'll do that with you. Again, we're just going to fold these edges over, as you know. You should be an expert at this by now.
Okay, so we now got all the glue pieces together. The next part we're going to do is basically form this into its curve. So to help us do this and to help us glue it, I'm going to take a couple of strips of masking tape just to help us hold it into the correct position. So I'm going to take a couple of strips. Now this could be by itself a bit sticky, so just to unstick this a bit, just stick it to yourself. Peel it off a couple of times and it'll become a lot less sticky. As to not ruin the model, I'll damage it by peeling the mask and tape off. Okay, so as with before, we're going to start in the middle. I'm just going to fold these tabs in right away this time. We're going to be gluing these from the inside. So, real good curve on these ones. So, we're going to bend the model together and where it needs to be in the centre here. And just So, where they match in the middle, I'm going to run some tape across. So, I'll start with the side, this side. This is the side of our tabs. And as though we've got glue on it, we want to make, let them match. And then when we're happy where, where it sits, just let that tape do its job. Okay, and then we'll do the top bit. I'm going to run this masking tape lengthways this time. Line up them edges like we have done with the other pieces. And then we'll finish up at the bottom. I'm just going to bend the tape back a bit so I can see where the edge is. Line up them pieces. And then when we're happy, you can tape them together. Okay, this is only to help us hold them in position. So now we're going to work on the inside. So the, the tabs that aren't glued down, I'm going to fold them right back to begin with. Do the first top three, fold them right over, and then I'm going to apply some glue on them. So I'm going to apply glue on them. I'm going to push the model together if it splits a bit like it has on mine, and then put them tabs where they need to be. And just glue as we did before, just like that set. Okay, so then they're, they're now holding. So I'm going to take off this long strip, what we put at the top. So I can now see where the edges need to be. So I'm going to take off the others. Okay, so working with the tabs now, you can do it from the outside if you can reach it. So I'm just going to separate the model with my finger, just squeeze down a bit, it'll give you a bit of a gap. And apply some glue on those tabs on the inside. I'm doing about five in one go here. Okay, so I'm going to make them that edge meet where it needs to be. 
and just pushing them tabs up on the inside with my finger. And I'll hold that into place until the glue starts to set, like so. So I've got my finger on the inside, pushing up and pushing down with my fingers on the top. And we're keeping that edge nice and straight. Just let that set. Okay, so that's set. I'm going to work down and do the next few. So then I'm just going to separate it slightly, apply some glue. So then tabs I can see. Pull the model together. And with your finger on the inside, just push up them tabs. Push down from the top. Like so. So I'm basically pushing down onto my hand now. Should be good enough. And I'm going to finish up. I'll try and get the rest in one shot. Okay, and then the last remaining piece is the last little support at the bottom. Just apply some glue on that tab like I did before. Bring them together, line them up, and hold into place. Okay, so that's all set. We can spin it round and make it more round with our hands trying to get the shape a bit better now and we've got all our tabs and we've now got all our tabs at the top ready for the next part folded over so we need that arm quite folded over just push them all down go around and make sure they're all, nice. they're all going to sit nice and flush to the top okay so the next part we're going to do is going to grab our black sheet and the piece that's got the end scenic logo in the bit middle we're going to cut that up now okay so we can discard the circle of the logo one it's this piece we need and each straight edge is going to align up with an edge on top like this so we'll push in and pull in where it needs to be but this will be glued to them tabs now and that'll secure the top ring to the coolant tower so just start with one to begin with and apply some glue onto it as with before and then I'm going to line up one of the outer straight edges with that tab And you can just put your finger on the inside of it, just squeeze them together. Okay, and then just let that set. Okay, and then work your way around each tab gluing into position with the straight edges on the top. So 
can see I've got that edge glued up here now on a straight edge. So the next straight edge will be here. I've got a tab underneath it. I'm just going to lift it up a bit and then put some glue and squeeze them together and I'll do that all the way around. Okay, so you can see here, it sticks out just a bit past the ring, so depending on how well you've glued the model together, you might get a little bit of a lip here. So, taking a knife at that worst point, I'm just going to slice down, cut through that savvy glue on the inside. Okay, so now, when we apply glue to the top, That'll squeeze in now, we can squeeze that in to make the, the top ring sit flush with the outside edge. Okay, so we've got that ring firmly attached now to the top. So the next part we're going to need is the triangular strut supports for the bottom. This is just to thicken it out the model. So these are going to be glued on the inside edge and from a distance them support struts are going to look realistic. They're going to look to the thickness and scale they should be rather than just a thin card supporting the whole model weight. So just snip these out of the card. Taking your model, lay it on its side, and we're just going to run some glue on the triangle shape at the bottom, just the two sides and the bottom of one piece to begin with. So just apply some glue on all three sides, and we're just going to take one of the pieces and line that all up and glue into place. I'm just going to spin the rod around to me so I can see the outside edge just to make sure it's not overlapping. Okay so nope. Just need some more glue. Okay, so I've secured that piece on the inside, and now if you look from the outside, on that piece here, it's got some thickness to the support, rather than just being a thin piece of card. It probably doesn't show up too well on camera, but when the model's in position, it, it, it's got the thickness of the support, so it looks like it's real thick concrete that's supporting it. Okay, so we're going to repeat the process for each one of these on the inside all the way around the inside edge.
looking out at a side view, it's made the card or the structure look a lot thicker. So once painted up or weathered in, it really adds to the look of the model. Okay, so the next remaining part we need to cut out is out of the dark card. So we're going to cut all the remaining pieces out again, just out of these tabs. We'll cut through all these. Okay. So, to begin with, we've got the grated detail in here. It has got an etched box on the outside. So it has got an etched box on the outside, so you want that facing up. And we're going to take this piece, I'm going to glue it onto this piece. So behind the where the, where the gates are, you can line it up. Whether you want to add a bit of colour behind to begin with, some silver or some like steam or water defect, weathering type thing or corrosion behind the grid, now's a good time to do that but for now I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on too. So what I'm going to do is just take a bit of a scrap card we've got left over like so okay and I'm just going to a bit of a liberal amount of glue onto that card and just begin with spreading it about to begin with. Okay, now taking this edge, I'm going to use it like a scraper, so I'm just going to run the card down like that and it'll give us a nice thin layer of glue on top of this card. Apply some more glue if needs be. The other end. Doing this is going to give us a nice clean thin layer of glue. Okay so I'm going to take that off that, place that on the table. So I'm just going to line all these edges up give that some time to dry. So I'm just going to give this some time to dry. I'll be back once it's dry. Okay so that was dry enough for me to do the next stage. Sorry I didn't catch it on camera. But just before the glue completely sets we want to create, this is going to be basically form a circle so to help us form that circle, just before the glue completely sets, I'm going to take the edge of the model and just pull it down the table edge and that will start giving us that curved structure. It's not going to be a complete circle, we'll finish that now. But it just helps us set the glue in that position, it will hold it for us and stop it buckling the next stage. So I'm going to take this, now, this tab we've got here and on the inside I'm just going to butt up these edges like so and match those grated effects so you can see there I'm going to match those grated uh, the grills what's in the model there so that's the next stage to do so apply some glue down this tab okay so that's now glued So I'm just going to run my fingers around the whole model and try and get it into a circular shape as best as possible. Just keep squeezing it between your fingers. I'll just help with the final stage we've got to do. Okay, that should be good enough. So we want to take the base without the hole in the centre. Just curl these up. And these are going to be our glue and tabs for the inside of the model, so flip it whichever way you want. 
I'm just going to start with one side just apply some glue onto that and this is going to fit inside the structure you might want to get all the tabs inside in one go a bit of a squeeze but it does fit Okay, we're in, so I'm just going to flip it over so it's nice and flat on the table. And then just squeeze that tab we've glued onto the side. And now the tabs which are remaining inside, I'm just going to fold back, apply some glue, then push back into position. Okay, and then the last remaining piece, this isn't necessary to be honest if you don't want to glue this in because it's going to be sat this way up anyway with the gas air that coolant tower on top. But I've supplied it so I'll fit it. Okay, so fold all the tabs over and apply glue onto all the tabs this time. Okay, I'm just using the model. I'm going to get those tabs on the inside. And it shouldn't actually be held into position but that's why this thing is this holes here so you can get your finger inside and just push them tabs up to the edge now if you rest it that way that's the way it's going to sit okay so that's the base complete of the internal structure for the coolant tower okay so I did say at the beginning of the video I'm going to show you how I weathered mine so I'll just do a couple of strips to show you how I did mine. So I'm using a humble weathering powder. This is the dark earth colour. And I'm just going to take a flat paintbrush, one that has a flat edge, and I'm just going to follow these lines. You see here, I'm just going to follow these lines where the concrete of the structure will be and then you slightly drag down to simulate weather and where these joins are and do the same and then, then just across some of them I'll go a bit more I'll go a bit deeper with some of the weathering around the top of the structure, that's where it tends to hit weather a bit more heavy I'll really apply it on there again, pull it down in places down by the base apply a thick weather in here and work my way up the sides as such 
and again with the supports tend to really go again where it touches the ground it's going to be really weathered and internally okay so that's just a quick demonstration of how I do some of my weathering again don't go over the top of it less, less is more when it comes to weathering but just by adding a few strokes on the joins you can see it really makes the model come to life okay so that's the completed how to build guide for the cooling sours I hope it wasn't too long the process I know it's a bit of a long model to build it's not a hard process by any means it's just there's a lot of parts to glue together basically uh, it's for sale now on the website at www.ncenic.co.uk that's www.n-enic.co.uk thanks for coming along for this build guide and I hope to see you again soon thanks bye